Hello everybody, I'm Amal Central and welcome to episode 25, quarter of 125 of Talking Buses. As per usual this week we have all of your action packed news, a lot of exciting stuff going on, bus franchising, more electric buses for Scotland and lots of network, fleet and local news. So without further ado we will begin the show and I will pass you over to Ayman who is presenting this week's national industry news. Thank you, Alex. The government have outlined a new £3 billion national bus strategy to allow the subsidy of cheaper fares in sparsely populated areas like Mid Wales, the Scottish Highlands and Cornwall, where mileage on services can make them unsustainable to operate. That definitely sounds like a big help for the rural communities, keeping them connected. Manchester's Mayor Andy Burnham has announced that Manchester will be the first city outside of London to introduce bus franchising to its network. About time. This will allow for a more controlled bus network with better integration and fare systems that suit all travel needs. Well, if this means we get £1.50 offer fares, just like in London, then I'm all for it. This announcement hasn't been without backlash, of course, and Stagecoach Manchester, the city's biggest operator, has taken legal action against this. Andy Burnham has also been in attendance at the Go North West bus strike, supporting staff against the accusations of the fire and rehire by the union to the management. This bus strike has now been taking place for over a month and has seen disruption to many North Manchester services. And finally, as I know you're all a fan of electric buses by now, McGill's have complimented the Scottish Government's funding for electric buses by announcing the purchase of a further 33 electric buses to complement the vehicles already on order. These will be new Tong vehicles, surprise surprise, and form a £15 million order alongside the £17.5 million order placed last month. And that's all from me, back to you in the studio. So thank you for that, Ayman. It's very interesting to see what's going on with the Manchester bus franchising that has just been announced. We will keep you updated with that as and when it sort of advances, but it is going to be interesting to see how they interwork it with the London model. So now on to the national network news that this week is being presented by Gaz Doncaster. Thanks, Alex. Hi everyone, I'm Gaz Doncaster and this week I'm presenting for you the National Network News. Without further ado, down in the Bracknell area and Reading Buses owned Courtney Bus has now been officially renamed Thames Valley Buses. This is part of the final merger of the operation following its recent purchase. On the south coast, the Stonehenge tour is now back after a year out of action following the COVID-19 pandemic. This is expected to be a popular service with the staycation promotions currently taking place for this year's summer season. The Yorkshire Dales funded tourist service operators have now been announced for this year with services returning from the 17th of April. In a surprise change, Arriva Yorkshire will not be operating any services. York, Pullman and First Leeds will be operating an amended 874 and 875 service, while First York will be on the 822 route. And there are rumours circulating that Transdev will be operating the full 884 and 873 corridor. A little bit of light news that First Leeds will be using street, street deck double deckers on their duties. I'm sure we'll all be looking forward to seeing that. That's it for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed that little slot. For now, it's over to Alex in the studio. Thanks. So that's all for part one of Talking Buses. Join us in part two as we go through all of your local fleet news the lovely simulation section, the back seats, and announce the winners for this week's photo competition, as well as announcing next week's theme. So join us in part two for all of that. So welcome to part two of Talking Buses with me and more central. It's that time of the show where we're going to your local fleet news and the usual reminder that in the description below there is a Google form marked local fleet news. If you have any changes in your local fleets, be that a new vehicle purchase, a new transfer, a new repaint, new withdrawal, 
do fill out that form in the description below to the full and in a future week of the show your news will feature. So now without further ado we are going to start and we are in the North East for our first pieces of news and Stagecoach um, Biogas E300 28016, 34 and 40 have been repainted into the new local livery. Thank you to Dered Foy for that information. Now we're going over to Go Ahead in North East and the current X-Line Solo SRs are going to be taken off their routes due to being too low, due to being too sort of low capacity um, and will be replaced by Mercedes Citaros that will hopefully justify the um, high loadings on those services and um, they will be repl they will be refurbished like the current Connection 4's buses have just been done. Gone Off East's Pride Gemini 2 6050 has had a rainbow ma makeover with the classic rainbow waterfall aka the chevron maquette and with different colour headrests. I've seen photos that it looks absolutely stunning. Um, furthermore, they have also received a right streetlight demo for the Sunderland to Jaro 9 service. Omnicity 5265 has been sold for scrap. And finally, the former Metrobus London Omnicities have been brought to Riverside Depot to be used for parts and one is speculated to be used for schools or replacement services as and when the Metro is currently down as there's been a few incidences recently. So thank you to I'm a Kingslay for all of that information. Going down to Yorkshire now and in South Yorkshire, Waterson's coaches have brought Scania Solar L94UB Y05 GXD from Connections Buses, replacing their own Y46 HHE, which has gone for scrap. Thank you to the South Yorkshire bus spotter and Jonathan for this information, with Jonathan providing this nice photo that you can see of the bus now. So going further down to Stagecoach in the Midlands and the 5X London Volvo B90L Gemini 2s which have been on loan to Northampton have been returned to Ensign Bus. These being numbered 800, 78, 79, 80, 81 and 82. All BG11 regs with DSX, DTZ and DZZ, EBL and AEO as their final sort of bits on the registration. In replacement, 5X Lovian B90L Geminis have arrived at Northampton. There's no fleet numbers on these yet, but the regs of them are SK07, CCA, CBO, CAX, CBU and CBV. Thank you to Nuneaton777 for that information. Now heading over to Wales and Cardiff bus, Scania L94UA Omnicity Bendy bus, 604 CNO6 GDK has been repainted into the updated 27 Cardiff bus livery, replacing its old blue bay car livery for service 6 between the city centre and Cardiff Bay. Thank you to Welsh Transport for that information. So going back over to Ensign bus and X First Kernel Volvo B70 LX400 322 86 and 87 have gone to Ensign bus to be exchanged for two open top Scania Omnideckers to help with the new open top services being introduced in Cornwall this year that we mentioned in last week's show. So now going back over to Yorkshire and Reliance Motor Services, we have done a video on their fleet. It's slightly outdated now um, with the information I'm about to tell you, but you can check it up there now. Um, it is a nice video and that outlines the fleet and the operation. But they have purchased a new Volvo B7 R Elite Eclipse 2 that is registered AE12 FGM. This vehicle is fitted with seatbelts and is number 22 in the fleet. I'd like to thank Chris Thompson for getting in touch about this information and you can see some of his wonderful photos of this vehicle in action now. So now we're heading down to Stagecoach Southwest and talking about stunning liveries and ALX 400s 18308 and Dart 35164 have been resprayed into the old stripes livery as part of a centenary down in that region. So Trident E400s 191050 06 and 07 all MXL7 regs are being converted to open top for a new Route 21C that runs between Barnstaple and Croyd. Go Southwest Open Top Trident E400 468 Alex 6 EZD is being relaunched on the 25 service from Monday the 29th of March, bit, um, that was pretty much last week, um, and X Brighton Omnidecker 6013 
Y and O four A O Y is now with is now in the Preston bus. I'm not Preston bus. Why did I say Preston bus? I saw P and went Plymouth City bus lines livery. There we go. So six O one three Scan Your Decker is now in the Plymouth City bus lines livery. So also E four hundred City five seven one down in this region is currently in the process of having a new livery following an RTC and front end rebuild. Thank you to Steve Honey for all of that information, and I believe you've also provided this segment down here as we move over to First Kernel, who have purchased X E Slovian Open Topper B ninety Ls SM fifty seven DBY and DCE. Um, I don't know if they're B nines actually. They might be the um, Scania's but all I know is is the SM57 DBY DCE that are X e Slovian open toppers and now with first kernel as part of the build um, back better 21 campaign these are branded for the Exmoor Coaster and uh, yes I believe they are the Omni on the deckers of them um, also 32688WX56 HKC has been branded for the Cornwall Day Tripper D1 and D11 services and Old Atlantic Coaster Presidents are being rebranded as the Land's End Coasters. X Metroline Trident E400 33426 has been branded for the Atlantic Coaster and X Bright Bus Tours Trident V526 and 527 ESC are to be branded for the new sightseeing route in Exeter called Exeter Tours. So again, Steve Honey has provided all of that information. I thank you greatly for all of that. It's very interesting what's going on down in the Kerner region. So staying with first group, I'm moving over to Weymouth and E400 33742 SN12 AOB has now returned from the paint shop and is now in the new Wessex local livery that I must say does look quite nice. This means the last of the E400s is now painted um, and now on to the HX08 B90Ls um, and they will be the next ones to be done. So Volvo B7 Avali Eclipse 166938 has also arrived at Weymouth in the new training livery and is replacing all the beaten BLE 66181 W801 EOW that is now going to be withdrawn. Thank you Samuel Schofield for all of that information. So thank you everybody who has contributed for that bit. Do remember that in the description below um, is a Google form. So if you do have any transfers, withdrawals, repaints, new buses entering your local fleets that you know about, fill in the forms, um, fill in the details in the form in the description below to the full and it will be featured in a future week's, or week's episode of Talking Buses. So now on to the photo competition and this week's competition was themeless. And the winner for this is the West Yorkshire bus spotter with this epic shot of a brand new repurposed Dalesway B90L, one of the ex-Witchway ones, um, in one of the lovely villages between Skipton and Keighley on the 66 service. So congratulations for winning. Our runners up for this week were Harry Carter with this epic shot of a stagecoach Scunfort based Fastcat E200 MMC with the lovely Humber Bridge and Buses 31 for this nice image of an elite coach in Scotland beaming in the sunshine. So if you didn't get chosen for this week, don't worry, there's plenty more opportunities with our theme for this week being real life countryside shots. So these are any photos taken of buses and coaches in the real world out and about within the rural settings. For full terms and conditions, please read the Google form in the description below for the photo competition before entering. Good luck and happy snapping. So now on to the simulation section and for the OMSI 2 focus again for this week and Gainsborough Phase 2 is now out for OMSI 2 featuring some lovely new routes including the flagship Interconnect 100 service now extended up to Saxelby covering around 30 minutes of the real life 2 hour end to end service. I have recorded a video of driving this route and if you are interested in that you can find the link in the description below um, to watch that video and I tell you a bit about the Interconnect brand and the history around road car around there. So Stagecoachman13 has shown some more epic screenshots of his latest map project hinting at a new Tesco shuttle service for the map. I'd like to wish him the best of luck with this project and look forward to seeing further progress. And finally, Joshua Ramsden has confirmed which routes will feature on this first edition of the what is looking to be a spectacular Bolton map. 
Confirmed for the first release are the 500 Metro Shuttle, the 571-572 Great Lever Services, 575 to Green Lane and the 576 to Crown Hotel. These are operated by a variety of companies including Diamond Bus and the Reaver as well as Vision Bus that are a local company around there and should provide some nice variety for those who drive the map and it is one I'm certain looking forward to seeing released. So that's all for this week's show of Talking Buses episode 25. We have reached, reached 25 episodes and I would just like to thank you all for supporting this show in order for us to get this far with it. I hope you all keep enjoying it and do keep suggesting ideas and keep taking part in our sort of interactive bits such as the photo competition and the local fleet news that are in Google Forms in the description below. I just, as I say, like to thank you all for taking part in this and thank you to Iman and Gaz Doncaster for presenting their bits in a super form as usual. So we'll leave you with this week's 60 second back seat. There's an absolute belter. It's a very, very nice one again. Um, preserved West Riding, Leyland National 2, 73, XUA 73X. Hopefully it's keeping you in the mood for when events and things start up again that's not far away now um, and it's a lovely Lane and National 2 is this vehicle. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have. And if you are new to the channel hello and welcome. Do consider subscribing for more content like this both from the real life bus industry as well as the virtual transport simulation worlds. Again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you continue to support the channel, support the show and join our amazing community. And I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.